Now, since I'm being extra silly, let's just get on with it right now. Still the same recording session, um, for the sake of completion, not that you care. But I'm feeling it. I wanna... I'm not sure. I might even just finish Aeon tonight. Or die on the way. We don't know. You don't know. I might die at any cent any point without giving you any kind of advance warning because that's how I roll. Because I genuinely don't know when I'm gonna die. <laughs> when I'm gonna die and how. You've seen that. It might happen at any time and it's only by the grace of God or whatever divine power is responsible for anything. If you believe in that kind of thing, I guess. I don't. Actually, it's not relevant whether I, whether I don't do or not, so that was... Now, let's think for a moment. Is talking about religion a good idea in an online web series about a video game? Yes, no. Maybe. I'm gonna go with no, so let's just... Try and remember and uh, pick up that line of car, um, monologue. Would you say line of monologue? No, you wouldn't. Oh, crap. There's a train wreck. Well, there's some Adam happening. Just watch the Adam happening and uh, don't listen to me. I imagine that's what people usually do when they start talking nonsense. They just watch the Adam happening. And there's a statue. Let's see what it does. Uh, okay, there. First, there's this. I can kill it with a frost bolt, right? Thank you. Seems to be a male figure with the head of a hippopotamus made of granite. Okay, and what's the rest of its figure like? Am I suppose is it a male humanoid figure with the head of a hippopotamus, or is it a male cat figure with the head of a hippopotamus, or is it a oh whatever? Inscription at the bottom reads. No. I get it. I guess it's supposed to be a palindrome, but I, I can't just string any set of letters and repeat them half and go backwards halfway through and have it be a palindrome. It has to be something that makes, I don't know, some degree of sense. I don't even know an example palindrome. I only know some in German. Can't think of an English one right now, but that just made no sense. And I don't. And while I know that a figure has a hippopotamus head, I don't know what the rest of it looks like. It's been rather nondescript that way. That statue, kind of a mystery. Guru, Usually, I t I tend to read far more for stuff than anyone even cares to listen to out loud metal boots no that's not a cap I'm looking for but close this is the first time that I just have to refuse outright I can't read I don't even know anymore can't read that okay it's a green slime. Everything's fine. It's not a death ooze. Or, a, no, not a death ooze. A grey ooze. Grey ooze are a dangerous one. Death ooze just poison. Poison is that dangerous. Ooh, new one of digging. Thank you. Some of these dwarven chaos knights are the... are really lazy. Part of them carry pickaxes. So they do their own digging. Like the dwarves that they used to be. But then you have all of all the dwarfs that just carry wands of digging because they figure have so, have lost so much of their dwarfdom that they started being lazy, deplorable, truly, an abomination to mankind. And what am I looking at here? Something said I felt excited. So there's a bolt here. Oh, you almost got me. Oh, well, I've got my ML free action ready, so... I wasn't really in any danger there, I guess. <sighs> I hate these mimic rooms. They do pretty they do pretty decent damage, too. Even out of... Oh, well, paralysis or anything. 
So you do have to actually be careful. Get in line so I can bolt spell you. This is annoying as fuck. Whatever. I'm paralyzation resistant. I can knock some heads. As long as I'm not trying, gonna, trying to do it with the mass, the mimic hive mind, because I'm pretty sure those do tons of damage. Wait, it was an actual potion? Oh, crap. Oh, one, one more, more of those fake potions. How's that thing so fast? They are faster than me. They're actually legitimately faster than I am. Even with seven league boots? That, that's kind of unfair. I mean, I know they got nerfed a bit. Oh, they still mostly perform the job that you expect them to do. They're still faster than everything. Stay the fuck here so I can kill you. Thank you. Okay, where am I now? And that is a Shadow Worm, I think? Yeah, these are not that dangerous. That is a Lich King, Lich King, and a Lich King is pretty dangerous. You don't have to play Blizzard games to know that. This Lich King f is feeling pretty wrathful at the moment. But nothing a good fireball to the face can't fix. Okay, a couple. Oh, okay. That was the less... Um, that was the undesirable outcome. Let's put on a Chaos Orb of Elemental Water. For whatever good it does me. And this is getting to be a bit hairy. I have my amulet free act. Oh, well, Lich Kings I don't think can paralyze, so that would be matter anyway. And uh, there goes my there goes my charisma. Damn it! I don't appreciate being confused. There goes the damage I did before. There goes my already shitty con perception, and this is getting fairly annoying. Actually, what am I doing? What am I gonna do if I can't? Right, this worked. Okay. Um, burning hands does more damage than fireball, I think. So let's try that. Okay, I can think again. So I should try and get some distance and start the fireball barrage straight away. Because he can't really defend against that. Do I have Undead Slaying? Ah, oh, doesn't look like it, unfortunately. And that is really a dick move. I n it's not like I needed those auto healing potions, but I kind of want didn't want them them destroyed. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Well, he's almost dead, at least. Uh, there's something. Yeah, that better does any damage. And there's a confusion again. I think I might end up having a harder time against Snorok Varn than I'm entirely com comfortable with. That was a good thing. This thing is standing in doorway, keeping the lich, lich King at bay. Oh, you are just a dickhead, aren't you? Stop attacking my mind, you dickhead. Yeah, that damn right you're gonna panic. Fear the arcane might. 
of Cheryl. Oh, you are not running. Oh, yeah, I guess you are. And now you're dead. Okay, that was the Lich King. Oh, the way that went, I'm guessing I shouldn't expect too much from fighting... If I ever do end up fighting an Imperial Lich. Turns out that the willpower drop of... That I got from that one corruption is fairly dangerous if you don't have confusion resistance which I don't and confusion resistance is probably what I would actually replace my oh you can just go straight to hell I'm done with Mr. Melly nice guy I'm going for the nuclear option in the future Oh, it's a I think that's a Quicksilver Quarter Staff or something like that. No, I might be a Staff of Smiting. I don't even know. Chaos Plague Bearer. Yeah, that's dead. Okay. Um. And we've got a Fire Dragon creature. Well, that kind of seems fam familiar. Didn't I get through one of these just a couple of levels ago? Don't get me wrong, I'm doing this again. This stuff is fun. If you have 3,200 casting points of Frostbolt. Hey, Red Dragon! Chill! <laughs> have an ice day! <laughs> uh, I'm funny. Man, Batman and Robin is a shit movie. But fun. Of course, shit movies can... are usually fun. I don't know, when I... I used to watch that sometimes and enjoy it. But not because I am have uh, the kind of eclectic taste. Mostly just dumb and fun as hell. Um... Why did the dinosaurs die out? Get it? Because dragons are almost dinosaurs. Oh, fuck off! I needed them! Well, I, gotta, I guess I kind of deserved that. <laughs> I kind of really deserved that happening. And... There. That could have prevented it right from the start. And now I have to wear a shitty replacement bracelet protection. So apparently, if you're an ancient red dragon, you open your mouth slightly. Anyway, you know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Except it actually didn't. I don't, I don't know where, where that came from. I'm pretty sure. Well, we don't really know what killed the dinosaurs, I guess. That's not something we found out yet. Nom nom nom. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What am I gonna even gonna do with all that gold? Well, I guess that's the wrong order of things. First you collect all the gold, then you wonder what to do with it. That's the order of things in the world, generally speaking. You know, for a vault there aren't actually that many fire creatures around. They kind of Apparently, have a little party in the corners of the of the vault, and I'm kind of planning to come out anytime soon. I kind of wish it was a bigger vault. I'm still hoping for a greater vault. I don't think I even, I don't think we even had one of those yet. Ah, uh, this lady. I'm doing something here. So let me do something. The thing I came here to do. But I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> that I will do. You're gonna be tasty. And give me like five points of speed. And uh, that's adamantium. Not that amazing. That's the worm. 
which has Minecraft, but apparently not as strong as um, the Lich King does. So, Frostbolt, amazing. Apparently I killed an ancient red dragon who was waiting behind him, because that's what you do when you fight an elementalist with Frostbolt spells. You line up and take it in order. Red Worm is making a bit longer. It's got more HP, I guess. Not sure what I'm raising archery for, if I'm not even going to pick the archery talents, but there you go. I don't think I have Humanoid Sling, so Arch has been kind of a bust for me so far. Probably not going to be using any of them. I get another talent already? Jeez, those levels just come flying at me. Probably gonna, I probably gonna make it to the f to level fifty. Actually, no, no, I'm actually pretty sure I won't because I won't be fighting the Balors on D fifty because I don't need to. And one of the things I do or not do in my eight arm playthroughs on YouTube is I only do as much as I have to to win the game, which. I have to say, it's plenty. <laughs> Though, I guess this time around, I might actually get around to... Oh, uh, let's not make promises I won't keep or anything. i promising to do post-game content with Hocus Pocus, and <laughs> we all know what how that turned out. Nothing happened, because I never got around to it, and because I didn't really feel like doing it. Out. And by now, going back and doing post game content with Hocus Pocus is actually logistically logistically tricky because I'd have to make her um, get her version of the game to run again. But that's fine because I can do it with her. I can do it with Cheryl. Let's see the, what a rift is like from within and so and stuff like that. Just a fun one. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We haven't won the game yet. In particular this ancient red dragon is proving fairly obstinate. Nothing good frostbolt can't fix though. Yeah, this is just the stuff on the ground because I by now I have picked up and I think there's tons of stuff I haven't identified yet in these stashes. I might even Well, I don't want to jinx it, but I might even end up picking up a Ring of Mental Stability, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Which would be exactly what I'm looking for right now. Because this whole um, confusion business is kind of annoying. They say that C's might enhance your creativity because of the uses you think of them. Now, as far as I know, the only real use C's have is money. You can use them for other things, of course, but in the end it boils down to using them for money. Actually, it's pretty much the only thing I've ever used C's for, I think. Oh well, no, on D50, uh, when I, if I have a stash of DCs by D50, I send, tend to use it to propel myself across the ice level. D49. But only if I ran out, run out of rocks or something like that. And since I sold all my Cs, which I figured I might as well do, I don't get to do that, and we're going to hear some thumbs going through this level. It's the sound of the footsteps of an extremely heavy monster. There are three monsters in the game that produce this sound. Namely the Greater Moloch, the Titan, and the Greater Titan. These are all very, very dangerous monsters if they ever reach... In the case of Greater Moloch, you don't really have to fear anything to fear from it. 
if you can see it coming because it's slow as all get out. Though the meeting one of the titans can pretty much spell doom. That's not a titan, it's a fire giant king. So we still haven't found our thumbing monster yet. I don't really want to get stuck in a hallway while this is going on. And I don't really want mana battery either. What the hell, no. We're gonna go for that corruption removal right away. Fortunately, that also means that my circle of eyes is now gone. Wreaking havoc on my perception. I'm moving a bit carefully, more carefully now, as you may have noticed. So I don't want to run into the thumbing thing of the accident. Ah, I guess. They changed the zoom effect to also affect movement, so now you have to actually press the opposite of the button that you want to go in to move through this room. You sense an imminent blood chilling threat? What the hell is going on? No, seriously, what the fuck? I'm freaked out now. Let's try that monster detection out. See what's happening. Eh? Oh yeah, that's probably my HP bar or something. Okay, um, that's a greater Moloch. And I actually have no idea the, what the fuck this is. I don't remember a purple tea. I don't know what this is. I don't... I don't know. The fuck? Should be a troll, but I don't remember purple trolls. Is there a troll emperor? Wow. It's been a while since I've seen something new in Adon. That's actually starting to scare me in, in a bit. Now, the Greater Molo is somewhere over there and it's slow as fuck. It won't really affect me. Oh yeah, I'm out of that weird ass room, so that's good. And maybe despite my better judgment... Oh, uh, Black Unicorn is actually pretty... Uh, dangerous too. So let's deal with that. And uh, looks like matching might not be the answer here. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Matching is always the answer. Okay, black unicorn, double cupboard. What's a purple tea? What's that? Seriously, what is that? It's just a random item lying on the ground. Nothing to be afraid of or anything. Not like it's gonna... gonna die any time. It's just... Wait, wait, oh god. Of course it's no longer there where I left it. Where's the purple tea gone to? Oh crap, man. I want to know what that monster was. I don't know, that's a hill giant chieftain. Uh. Yeah, I'm kind of... I went back to ASCII mode just because I feel safer playing with the old interface. Now that I'm actually a bit scared of what's going even going on. Purple tea is refusing to show up again, which is extra ominous. Well, I might as well explore the whole of the level. And there's a greater Moloch. Now, one unfortunate part, well, unfortunately, a greater Moloch at any rate, is that 
they do not actually resist, while well, they resist a fair number of elemental spells, they do not resist magic missile. And are way too slow to catch up with you, so if you have magic missile, they're basically free experience. Which is what I'm actually going for at the moment. Now you have to be careful with magic missile, of course. Because it has a way of striking back in you, at your face. It's a greater Moloch covered. It's a purple tea. Where has it where is it anyway? Is it was it fake or anything? Was it not a real thing? I don't care about the herbs. I wanna see that purple tea. What does a blood chilling threat actually do? Why are all only questions and never answers in this game? Kidding, of course. The game often has answers. Just often won't like them very much. Claw bugs. Purple tea is... Where is it? Now it's back there? I just... I just came from there. There it is. Oh. Okay, troll berserkers are red. They're not purple. And his name is Persus. Okay, I'll hazard a guess and... That's just... A wild guess that he isn't immune to fire. This huge trollish creature radiates ancestral presence. It is covered in long, thick, flea-ridden fur. The creature looks sluggish, yet you sense an oddly dangerous aura. Oh, fucking K. Um, hmm. Okay, you, you kind of talked it up now. Now I'm, I'm really scared. But if it's just going to die to the spells, uh, that wasn't really... Wait, that's it? Okay, now I want my money back. Your bones turn to bronze. What does that do? Dexterity minus 2, DV minus 2, PV plus 3. That's a decent enough trade-off, and I'm not pissed about that at all, but... It has nothing to do with the trollish berserker pursues. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. Let's turn off ASCII mode. I probably should have tried to look at pursues out of ASCII mode just to see what would happen. But he would have just looked like a troll berserker. I mean, I actually hit. Well, I hit more on it, so I. Uh, I hit up its monster descript description and anything. It shouldn't look any different from what I saw there. Kind of anticlimactic. Also, I kind of expected some kind of super awesome reward. You usually get those from... Ooh! Well, that has nothing to do with that, but we're in a... T you feel truly excited level. Which denotes the existence of a greater vault. And greater vaults have artifacts in them, and for that reason alone are usually worth doing. Also, I don't think there was. Oh, great. Amazing. Wonderful. Just what I needed. Just what I've always wanted. Well, there are artifacts in a greater vault. Uh, there are also Emperor Liches in the Greater Undead Vault. And with my track record as far as resisting confusion goes, that might actually be a bit dangerous. And I don't usually go in for danger. At least not if it's the voluntary kind of danger that you go into because you get off and that sort of thing. Let's just check what the Greater Vault actually has in store. It has several stashes of cash and two weapons. From the looks of it, one of the weapons 
looks to be a staff of some kind. Perhaps the staff of the Wanderer, perhaps the staff of the Archage. And the other is, I don't know. It's not Executor, which I would be tempted to try and get. Because Executor is jet black, which is a darker gray. So it's something else, and it's pretty likely it's something very, very disappointing. But what I'm going to do is finish the game, and if I do make post-game content, where I would enter the rift and everything, I would do this Greater Undead Vault first on the way up. That's essentially what I'm going to promise to do. That could take a while, though, with all the fire spells I have in store, I should probably be able to do it. Probably clear all my corruption before I do it, so I have more willpower. Masaki willpower is kind of disappointing, and yeah, whatever. But I am not, unfortunately, going to do this um, Greater Undead Vault now. I'm just going to explore the rest of the level. And that is a mixed tension room. My favorite kind of tension room. Oh, not one of these things. Um, magic missile. That should work. Keep forgetting I have that. I can do damage to anything if I want to, just by using magic missile. Oh, suck a dick. How far do our missiles go anyway? Range 16. Okay, I should have cast that in farther away, but the ability to hit that thing twice is pretty worth, pretty good. Okay, let's finish him off with Acid Ball before he reaches me again and drains you more stats because I hate that when it happens. There's more of these? Oh, holy crap, man. Hmm, looks like it's a pretty big room. Get magic missiled. Ow. Huh? What? Oh yeah, that was that was a greater that was a greater demon himself. This room, fire breath. Yeah, keep wasting your energy on that. I've got like triple resistance. I take two damage from your fire breath. I heal that in two rounds. Oh, didn't know these didn't know these gave experience worth a damn. Okay, uh, first aid is maxed, and archery is max. Oh crap, man. I'm at a stage where I'm just giving single point increases to tactics because I'm completely out of stuff to take. <sighs> okay. Fuck are you? Ancient Blue Dragon. Fuck is this? Annihilator. Uh huh. You look. You look like a straight out of XCOM. Bites are starting to look more and more interesting by the, by the minute. Yeah, let's eat some Firebolt, because you're a blue dragon, so... Oh, fuck off. I have had it up to here with your bullshit. Who are you? Regular up again. Okay. <sighs> I'm thinking I'm gonna switch to ASCII mode again, because I am massive chicken shit. I want to know what's going on. A little bit better. I guess I was always going to start doing this in late game. If I'm looking at it like that. What do we have here? Uh huh, okay. Let's see. Uh. That's a greater water elemental. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll waste it out. Okay.
Okay, let's kill that. Or try to. Okay, there's an item that I don't want to destroy. It. So I'm gonna switch to magic missile. Oh, good. Okay, now that's next to me, I can actually use burning hands. That's much easier, actually. Uh, anything interesting left in here? I could just bypass what's whatever is left in here, thanks to my invisibility. But there's nothing left of note. Now it looks like a troll chief can do some damage. Berserkers on purple tees. That's just, just cheating. I was expecting something like. I don't even know. And. Uh, are we? Oh, I forgot to eat a Quickling Queen. Yeah, whatever the fast I am. I want my speed boost. Okay, now. As mentioned, Chapter Greater Underworld will not be open today. I will try and finish the game first. Yep, some bones are being turned to dust. That's wonderful and amazing and awesome. While we're at a topic of amazing and awesome, what's about these new items that I found? Potion of willpower? Excellent! Yeah, screw that out, but potion of willpower, that's great. Blessed potions of clarity, holy shit! The stuff that I'm finding here is pretty amazing. Yeah, I should have definitely drank that before I read that book I found. I should do that at least once. I can disarm traps now with the ice thief picks I don't have. Thank you. Amazing. Willpower, yeah, feel the willpower. Um, potions of potential toughness are going to be amazing as food items, actually. And a blessed potion of mana, yeah, I might as well. I think I have the boost to recharge my ones without it. And let's get out of ASCII mode for now. And uh, more thumbs in this level. That's another greater molo. That should be another another character level for me. So I can go up a level and then go down a level. Level, 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 level. What well, kind of statue is this? It appears to be of a grizzled knowledge warrior. Search the bottom reads Dog Breath, a mighty warrior of the hidden fortress at DGF. DGF? I don't get that one. But I do remember the name Dog Breath. That's a regular user of the a official Adom DE forums. Apparently, he donated to a pretty high level, and so he got his very own statue of a hyena. Well, more power to him if that's what he was going on for. Who am I to judge? Am I just a judge of anything? No, of course I'm not. I just judge the things that are important. Fuck are you? Oh, that's a Werewolf King. Okay, no, I'm not kidding around with that thing. Werewolf Kings are really dangerous. And looks like the thumb is of a Titan. Titans are pretty damn good at shooting quarrels. This one, for some reason or another, has already taken damage, though. I think they're also immune to fire, so I'm not sure what I was doing there. I can risk a magic missile. Ah, it hit him twice, too. This one, too. And finish him off with Acid Ball. Okay, that wasn't finishing off so much as it was preparing for finishing off. 
and it's a dead titan. With a light crossbow, so I actually have a crossbow now that I can use to crossbow things. I'm not sure if eating werewolf kings still crashes the game. It used to do that. And I'm not eating a werewolf king, confusing it with a quickling king. No, sorry. No game crashes here. Not even potentially. Hmm. Sorry about eating your night snack. Looks like that's a black unicorn outside of ASCII mode. Wonderful. Pony! Die, Nightmare Moon! <laughs> um. Uh, that's. I think that's it. That might even be turned on the scale mill or something. Ah, it's probably Adamantium or something shitty like that. It's not bother. Okay, there are two down staircases in this room. Uh, because it's D47, and there is a side branch of the Cavern of Chaos that opens from here. That I have to enter before I can make it to the final stage of the game. And I don't even care about the spiders anymore. Holy crap. We are at D48. Actually a bit early. And I'm not going to do that out of order now for now, because I kind of want to keep the orbs anyway. How much of my money did he steal? All of it? Wait, it's that heavy? You know what? You can keep it. Just uh, rest in peace and have my money. If you want it so much. That you thought it was a good idea to steal it off a herfling dressed in a robe. In a bathroom robe. Actually, I'm very... Uh, well, that's... A, well, that's just a sprite, I guess. Well, I'm actually wearing a Saturnian plate mail, which should look a little bit even more impressive than a bathrobe. Now, we are in the Unreal Caves. Where I am not going to be doing much of anything. Except look for the down staircases in each level and make it to... Oh, what is up with these quicklings over there? Make it to the Tower of Elemental Mana. You start to sweat blood. What does that mean? Charisma minus two, appearance minus four, plus five speed. That's actually amazing. Yeah, not doing anything about that. You always want a speed boost. But if I'm if my speed is higher, I wouldn't get as much experience. Doesn't matter. You don't need experience for anything. Speed is better than experience. It's very simple math. <laughs> I don't even need it. I legitimately need don't don't need experience for anything anymore. And hooray! I've got my anti confusion measure installed. You don't really need experience at this stage of the game anymore. You very rarely need it at all. And... What? I'm done eating the Frost Giant Corpse. Frozen meat. You suddenly feel very hot. What? What? Oh, I don't get it. By the way, I might as well drink a potion of insight from time to time. Just to check. Fire resistant naturally and through items. Poison resistant, cold resistant naturally and through items. Acid resistant naturally and through items. Lucky, fate smiles. Invisible through item. Paralyzation resistant through item. Shock resistance and by nature and through an item. Immune to shock. Able to breathe water. When did that happen? No, seriously, when did that happen? I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, oh, yeah. 
I'm an elementalist, that's why it happened. And able to resist confusion, yes. Helmet of Madness ability, it's amazing. I'm never taking it off again. I legitimately am not. That confusion resistance is way more valuable than that extra point PV could ever be. So. Where are the stupid down staircases? I'm putting on an amulet of light just to check. Ah, that's where they are. Mana temple, here I come. Not a resist confusion, nothing can stop me. Oh. Wonder how, how long I'm gonna live after saying something like that. Hmm, even at that high toughness, eating an undead corpse can still give you more. That's actually pretty nice. And there's a shop on this level, which is... <laughs> okay. I'm just going to look for it now, and then I have to actually turn around and pick up all my gold, I'm guessing. I'm going to buy something from the shop. Uh, okay, yeah. That is something that happened. What a bear. It's a bear doing there. Melon. Okay. I'm going to eat the melon that I found deep within a dungeon, far away from any place that grew, would grow melons ordinarily. Because that's how gullible I am. What's this shop? I mean, that must... That can't be a very good shop location, just from a... What? A 36 stones club? Ah, that's a hefty club. That's not interesting. Math checks out hefty increases by something like 20%. And 20% of 30 is 6, I think. It should be. Stupid shop was at the beginning of the level the entire time. It was uh, behind the door that I didn't open and you know, uh, rasm frasm. Stupid backtracking and shit and bullshit and whatever. Oh god, it's a shop full of spell books. Oh no. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, um. Uh, yeah, you're gonna. You, you know what? I'm gonna. Uh, I'll be right back. Let's see if I can find that cash again. Yeah. I guess I can do without paralyzation systems for now. A blood chilling threat. Yeah. The way things have been going with these blood chilling threats so far, I'm not expecting anything world shattering. Seriously, where did I drop my cash anyway? I think it was at the entrance of the Unreal Caves. Oh, this is just annoying again. Uh, I don't, I don't want to fight spiders until the end of time. I want my cash. Oh, crap. Where did I drop it? I think at the top of this level. Yeah, over here. That's where it should be. Yeah, that's right, Frost Giant, y'all. I've got your number. Okay, bookstop, here I come. I don't have to worry over much about corruption because I have all this corruption removal, so I might as well read all of the books for spells and stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's just gonna be amazing. Uh, regular old doppelganger, I'm not scared of you at all, and uh, then you're a werewolf king, and I am scared of you. Hmm. Man, those spells are pretty supercharged. I remember those having quite a bit of HP. They do tons of damage in melee, too. Or at least that's what I remember. Apparently, memory has not been perfect throughout all of these videos. Um, Ogrelord, just um, Pit Viper, 
more pit vipers or even more of those pit vipers because you can't get enough of them pit vipers chaos rat whatever yeah okay wonderful yeah amazing let's go down those stairs yeah it's amazing and more of these stairs and whatever why not and where is the shop yeah <laughs> Spy some of these amazing items. Firebolt. I don't need firebolt. I have teleportation. I don't have strength of Atlas though. I don't have knock. And I need knock. I don't have light. <laughs> and that might be useful at any point. I don't have cure serious wounds. I do have fireball, but not a lot of it. Magic log. Okay, why not? Darkness. Yeah, amazing. Revelation. Sure. Anything. Anything you want, I will need it. I want it. More burning hands, wonderful. And we're done. You're selling these way too cheaply. And you're a troll, why are you selling this cheap? I don't care, I have my stuff. Not only I had a non-corrupting environment to read it all in, but right now everything is very corrupting. So I'm just gonna try and read the stuff that's immediately useful, which includes nothing. I just went on a shopping spree for not a lot of purpose whatsoever. Whatever, screw you! I wanted these. I wanted all of those books. I had to purchase them with my money. Because I'm that much of a bookworm. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I shouldn't be too far from the mana temple, actually. Whatever. Oh. Mm, good day. Ah, secret door over here. Perception of nine, it's starting to get. Yeah, just generally faster just to start kicking the walls at this point instead of searching them. That's a lightning vortex, I'm pretty sure. Or it used to be. No destroying items today. More ants. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Where are the stairs? That was shaking violently. It uh, means the big end is out. No stairs in here. Ah, ants everywhere. Give me one of fire. I cast spells using that old wand of fire. Why would I ever use a one of fire? Actually, I'm an elementalist. Casting fire spells is the one thing I'm good at, and I'm pretty damn good at it. I have to add, so no reason to interpret that as any kind of complaint. Man. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to cover the mana temple within the time limit I've set myself for this episode. Which, by the way, is going to have a normal length because I'm not going to die before it's over. That was only remotely funny. Okay, not funny at all. The last time I tried it, I'm not going to try it again. But I'm at least going to play until I'm on the level where the mana temple is, which is this one. Explore its left part and probably save the game after that. There should be some kind of dangerous surprise waiting for me in form of a mixed tension room with deadly creatures that kill me or something like that. Nah, that's not something that would happen to me, right? No, it said it's ghosts. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Yeah, whatever. Just die already. I'm a herfling. I live like 100 years. I don't, I'm not afraid of you. 
Second one, so we're done with these ghosts. These spooky, spooky ghosts actually, they might actually come close to doing some damage. But I think I have a potion of you for two. Oh, looks like killing monsters inside walls uncovers the wall now. That's convenient. Okay, um, let's check out some of the stuff I picked up. I never actually drank the Blessed Potion of Mana, and I might as well. I own one Uncursed Potion of You. That's something I do, I have, and stuff. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I have a two empty ones of Paralyzation. I should probably recharge them. That's what I have 12 potions of boost for, after all. Hmm, that didn't really work. Hmm, looks like boost got a bit nerfed. No, I don't want to dip the booze into anything. Though it would probably recharge more if I blessed it. Um. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Next time, we're going to do the Mana Temple. Stay tuned!